here at the front for CJ Stroud. Steele, do you feel like that was your best game as a Buckeye? Uh, I felt like that, uh, especially from last week, I definitely improved. Um, just uh, trusting the defense and just doing my assignments. But uh, yeah, I think that was one of them. What are the biggest ways in which you feel like you've gotten better as a player? Um, like I said before, just uh, trusting my assignments, just um, really just doing what's needed for the defense, and then um, coaches puts us in spots to make plays. What does this scheme, Jim Knowles, what does it do to allow you to play at your best? Uh, his whole thing is that uh, we're playing offense on defense, so we're just being really aggressive. I feel like that's something where I thrive at. Uh, Coach Day mentioned that it's yeah. a lot easier to, you know, Play at the level you do after you've seen it for a while. Do you feel like you're more confident this year than you were last year? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, especially just like uh, all the stuff in the off season, getting with Coach Knowles, getting with Coy, um, and just uh, going over defense, just understanding like, how to be a better linebacker in general, just outside the scheme. I think that was really big for me, and just uh, getting me a better player. In what ways do you and Tommy feed off each other? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just uh, it's just fun being out there with him. Uh, he's one of my best friends, basically a brother to me. Uh, we've been living together for three years, so it's just it's just us just having fun out there, really. When you came down with that interception, just uh, I know it's bad. Just how did that feel there? When the uh, I feel terrible. I didn't know what to do afterwards. <laughs> I haven't had a ball in my hand in like two and a half years or something, so I just kind of ran to the side and ended up getting tackled by the quarterback. So. Uh, it is what it is. At least I, at least I caught it, but it didn't do too good after after the catch. No yak. How long did you see it? Like, what did you see? Did you see it get hit? Oh uh, yeah, I saw a, a bat. I caught it. Kind of caught it by the tips, which felt really weird. So that's what really messed me up at first. And then after that, I just ran and then got tackled. You got, did you get some critique on the return when you get to the side? Oh yeah, I got uh, I got made fun of a lot because I mean that was kind of my position. My whole job a couple years ago was to make people miss. I couldn't make the quarterback miss. So, oh, yeah. it was a quarterback. That got it was a quarterback that got me. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. That's whatever. I believe it was Zach Harrison in front of him. Oh, yeah. He had a big game himself, forcing the football oh, yeah. as well. Just, uh, what do you see from him now that he is in his fourth year? Just, uh, just like you, how is he playing in your eyes? Uh, he's playing with his hair on fire, really. I think just the entire D-line, that's just – that's where uh, that's where really our defense thrives at because they just create chaos up front and then everyone in the back just kind of adjusts. And I mean, without them, we we can't really do anything. So can't can't tell you enough how much I appreciate the deal. Do you feel like there's a better you know just maybe a wave of three levels of a defense are working together? Are things just working better than they were a year ago? Yeah, I think uh, there's definitely just more communication. Everyone knows like what uh, D line knows what we're doing. We know what D line's doing. Uh, DBs they know what we're doing. We know what they're doing. It's just everyone's really just in tune with what's going on in the grand scheme of things. I think that's really good for us.